Hello everyone, this is Coder2J. Welcome to the video series, Tech Terms You Should Know. Today, we're diving into the tech term, serverless or serverless computing. So what exactly is serverless? In simple terms, it's a cloud computing model where developers don't have to worry about managing servers. Instead, focusing solely on writing and deploying code. Traditionally, deploying applications to the cloud requires developers to manage servers and infrastructure, which could be complex and time-consuming. With serverless, you can deploy code directly to the cloud. The cloud provider takes care of the running and scaling it automatically, ensuring your application can handle any amount of traffic. Serverless computing offers several advantages. Simplified development. Serverless computing simplifies the development process and allows developers to be more productive. Scalability. Serverless platforms automatically scale up or down to handle changes in workload. This ensures that applications can handle varying levels of traffic without requiring manual intervention. Cost efficiency. With serverless computing, you only pay for the resources used during the execution of your code. This can result in cost savings compared to traditional cloud computing models where you have to pay for the entire server regardless of usage. Faster time to market. By simplifying development and reducing operational overhead, serverless computing enables faster deployment of applications, allowing businesses to bring new features and products to market more quickly. Many platforms offer serverless computing services, such as AWS Lambda, Azure Functions, Google Cloud Functions, IBM Cloud Functions, and more. Serverless computing excels in use cases where workloads are unpredictable and there's a need for scalability, cost efficiency, and reduced operational overhead, including, first, web applications. For example, a blog website where new posts trigger serverless functions to update content or send notifications. Second, APIs and microservices. For instance, an e-commerce website uses serverless functions to handle checkout, payment processing, and inventory updates. Third, event-driven processing, reacting to events or triggers from various sources, such as automatically resizing and optimizing images uploaded to a cloud storage service. Lastly, scheduled tasks. Running scheduled tasks or cron jobs like sending daily email reports summarizing website traffic statistics. While serverless computing is versatile, there are some use cases where it might not be the best fit. First, long-running or resource-intensive tasks like running machine learning models. Second, highly predictable workloads. Workloads with consistent, predictable traffic patterns. Third, real-time, low-latency applications. Applications requiring extremely low latency or real-time processing may face limitations due to the cold start time of serverless functions. Lastly, highly regulated environments. Industries with strict compliance requirements or regulations, like healthcare applications handling sensitive patient data subject to HIPAA regulations. That's it. You have learned what serverless is. If you want more videos like this, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Tell me what you like or don't like in the comments sections. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.